We turn overseas now to the spiraling COVID crisis in Indonesia as the Delta variant spreads. The country faces oxygen shortages and cases and hospitalizations escalate. This comes after the country had been spared the worst of the pandemic for much of the past year. The situation is now worsening in part because of low rates of vaccination in many Asian countries. ABC's Britt Clenet has a closer look in this week's Vaccine Watch. As the Delta variant spreads around the world, parts of Asia that once had the virus under control are now some of the hardest hit. And in Indonesia's capital of Jakarta, excavators can't work fast enough, building plots to bury the dead that keep pouring in. Some patients forced to die at home. The hospitals are overrun and supplies are running low. With only about 6% of the population fully vaccinated, the Delta variant is tearing through the world's fourth most populous country. Indonesia now recording more than 40,000 cases each day, becoming Asia's COVID epicenter. On the streets, a clamour for oxygen. Defitio Pratamo, or Tio, is desperately searching for canisters. Speaking to our producer in Jakarta, he tells us his mother, who has asthma, was turned away from hospital after hospital. She still hasn't been vaccinated. They eventually found a hospital that would admit her. But like so many others in Indonesia, Tio, for weeks, had taken treatment into his own hands. Oxygen in the country is scarce and prices are rising. Before, we could provide each customer up to five tanks of oxygen. Now we have to limit only two tanks per customer so that everyone can get it too. For those on the front line, going to work carries huge risk. More than 100 healthcare workers in Indonesia have died since June. Despite being fully vaccinated with China's Sinovac vaccine, which is less effective than the vaccines authorised in the US. Human Rights Watch researcher Andreas Hasono is among those who had the Chinese vaccine but tested positive for COVID. He says his symptoms are mild. His wife, though, hasn't been as lucky. She's had difficulty breathing. I call, she call, uh, stores that sell oxygen canister, zero. Uh, I decided to use Twitter asking for the public help. Uh, I was lucky, someone who just bought an oxygen told me that, why don't you try there? And I managed to get one of the last six canisters there. I go to sleep with the, si the sound of the siren outside my window every night. And every morning, 5 or 6 a.m., I wake up because of the same sound. My wife and I jointly lost more than 40 friends and relatives over the last two months. Hospitals here are overwhelmed. Those lucky enough to get treatment often end up in outdoor COVID wards. Many countries in East and Southeast Asia were initially praised for their handling of the pandemic, but slow vaccination rates and a highly contagious variant is threatening any claims of successfully beating this virus. South Korea has a vaccination rate of only 12.9% and they're in the midst of their worst ever outbreak. This small vaccination centre in Seoul is administering just 40 to 50 jabs a day. A far cry from the mass rollouts in the US. Some are taking it into their own hands, using an app to hunt for leftover vaccines. I set an alarm on this mobile app, and when an alarm pops up, I can make a reservation. But as soon as I open the page after the alarm, it's already taken. I am never able to catch a slot. Lengthy and strict lockdowns also having an adverse impact on business in South Korea, with no end in sight. This jewellery store owner tells us he had to close one store last month. His sales from his remaining store have fallen by half. Six months into the global vaccination program, just about a quarter of the world's population has received a single dose. Why you've got massive outbreaks going on around the world. People don't seem to hear it. The, the, what they're hearing is possibly what they want to hear is, I'm vaccinated now, I can go back to normal. <laughs> you can't. 
Not until you've sorted out the rest of the work. But some help is on the way. The US is donating millions of doses of the Moderna vaccine to South Korea's military and Indonesian health workers. Those jabs into arms can't come fast enough. Already more people have died from COVID this year than in 2020. It's a critical moment where we are all under threat, but we have really in our hands the abilities to turn it around. But it requires those who've got the power, who've got the resources to share. While part of the world is reopening, here in Asia, the borders remain firmly shut. Asian countries were among the most aggressive to close to outsiders to contain the virus. But now, with no clear pathway forward, there's growing frustration over when the region will fling open its doors again and make a transition to post-pandemic life. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.